Hi. <laughs> I know. I know it's been a minute. <laughs> It's been a minute since I've made a YouTube video, but I am back and better than ever. <laughs> and I'm really excited to start making content again here on YouTube. I thought I would do a little bit of a soft launch, coming back, not do anything too serious, not do a big tutorial sew along or anything, but just show you some of the fabric that I got from Minerva. Last year, I was giving the amazing opportunity to become a Minerva ambassador. So how it works is every month, I'm able to go through and pick some fabric. They send it to me. And then with that fabric, I document the process of making a garment with their amazing selection of fabrics. So I will have links for everything in my bio. If you use the link, it is an affiliate link. So I do receive a commission. Thank you so much for everyone who uses my affiliate links. It helps me create content. It helps fund my small business. It helps in so many ways. So again, I'll leave all the information for Minerva. I love their fabric. Um, I've made so many makes with the things that they have sent to me. And I wanted to show you two of the fabrics that they sent to me recently and go over plans and ideas that I have with the fabric. And then I'll also be documenting the journey, uh, making stuff with the fabric and going over the process and everything like that. So it should be fun. It should be a cute little series. But today I just want to show you the fabric. <laughs> Okay, so these are the gorgeous fabrics that Minerva was nice enough to send to me. Again, I am a Minerva ambassador, so they did send these fabrics to me. But if you know me, you know I love color, I love bold prints, I love florals. So when I saw these two, these are viscose chalet, I knew I needed to have them. So. What I love about Viscose Chalet, I'll do one at a time, is that it is lightweight and breathable, but it has this really gorgeous flow to it. So whether I make a blouse or a jumpsuit or a dress, whenever I wear it and a little bit of wind comes, this just picks up the wind beautifully flows beautifully it's really soft and comfortable uh, and the colors on the fabric are just so bold and bright i'm literally obsessed as you can see on the salvage edge it has the minerva logo i'll put the name of this fabric in the description but i'll also put it on the screen i'll also add a little video of me making or wearing this like two-piece set that I also made with fabric from Minerva in their viscose chalet, just so you can see how it flows, how it moves, how much body it has, um, just so you can get an example. But this is the first fabric. I love all of the colors. We have some teals and orange and blues. I love the purple. Uh, again, if you know me, you know I love colors and prints, so I definitely needed this one. And then uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you plans of what I think I'm going to use this fabric and the other fabric for, but let me show you the other fabric also. So this was the other fabric. Again, I am a floral lover. I love florals and I love bold prints. So this was definitely, definitely calling me. Again, in the viscose chalet material, really lightweight, really flowy, really comfortable to wear. Um, and it's actually really easy to work with. Um, it glides under my sewing machine and my serger. I never have any issues or problems with it. Um, has a beautiful drape. Again, it just feels luxurious. It feels so soft and comfortable on my skin. So this was the second print that I picked up and I already know for sure what I am using to make this fabric. I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. But again, can we take a second to marvel at this fabric? Again, I'll leave the name either on the screen or in the description so you can grab it also. But let me show you the pattern that I am thinking about using with this. 
Now, for this fabric, I know I definitely want to do this Butterick pattern. It is Butterick 6566. I have made this pattern before in view B. The alteration that I made was I just extended the legs all the way to the bottom. But I love anything that kind of has this halter top feature because I love to show off my arms and my shoulders. This is classified as an easy pattern from Butterick and I would definitely agree. This was super simple and easy to make. I've made this jumpsuit again before. Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. So I'm definitely going to make it again with this fabric. Do y'all see the vision? Like this is going to be a showstopper. I... I just know it. So view B, longer legs uh, with this fabric. This is the plan for this. With this fabric, I definitely have quite a few options. I love a cohort set, like a matching set. So I was thinking of doing this one, Simplicity 9756. It has a button down with a pair of pants, but it also has this cute little top here. This is classified as average from Simplicity. Um, so this is one thing that I am considering, but I also have a few different tops and dresses that I am thinking about so this is one consideration with this viscose um, chalet from Minerva the simplicity 9756 I was also thinking about doing Vogue 9242 again I love anything that's kind of off the shoulder or no shoulder with the little straps and the ruffle I just think this is so cute I don't typically do Vogue patterns but when I do do them I always choose easy or very easy because we all know how Vogue is <laughs> The finished product is cute, but the instructions and the and the path to get there can be a little difficult. So I always try to choose Easy Vogue, but I just think this blouse, specifically B, would just be so cute um, in this viscose chalet. So this is also an option. And then I also have this McCall's top. I love all the views i'm not sure which one i would do but this is mccall's 8324 classified as easy we love an easy pattern i've seen Lashawn make this pattern before um i like the little lace up back detail in view a um and view c has it also so quite a few different options i'm not sure which one i would do but i think this would be a great pattern to use and I could also make the top but then pick a different top like maybe this one from Simplicity for the bottom just to make a matching set because again I do love matching coordinating sets so this is also an option and then we have another Vogue pattern I every time I see this Vogue pattern I fall in love with view B I just love the deep V I love this cape collar moment there's just something so dramatic and bold about this top um, I cannot wait to make it it's classified as very easy from Vogue so I'll definitely Definitely am leaning towards this one with this fabric, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, this has been on my make pile for a while, so still considering. And then we also have, I'll bring that one over, we also have this new look pattern. I want something that is breezy. I want something that is comfortable that's really going to make this fabric shine when I wear it, give it a lot of flow. So I was thinking of this kind of tunic top. Obviously, I love the neck piece because, again, it shows off my shoulders and my collarbone. It has kind of this elastic uh, banding in the back, which I have been getting a lot of practice with. It's classified as very easy. Again, it's new look six seven three six and it does come with pants uh, and a longer kind of tunic and a shorter tunic so quite a few different options so these are the tops that i'm considering and then i'll show you um, some of the dresses and jumpsuits that i'm considering for this fabric also okay, i'm going to show you some of the bottoms and jumpsuits and dresses that i'm thinking about wearing I love these wide leg simplicity pants. It looks like they have elastic at the band. You can make them kind of like a cropped kind of capri or you can make it into a skirt. And then I love the buttons down the side. I 
have a brunette uh, B, what is it? Brunette B79. And I learned how to use the buttonhole attachment. So now I'm like obsessed with buttons. <laughs> These are classified as very easy to make. So again, I would use this fabric with these pants. Or I also have these Simplicity. This is Simplicity 8605. Kind of like a paper bag pant. Uh, I could also use these also with this fabric. And then just come up with a matching top. Because again, I do love a coordinating set. So these are the pants that I was thinking about. A jumpsuit that is a tried and true for me is this one from McCall's, McCall's 8069. Again, it has the neckline that I absolutely love. It comes in different variations. I've made this about two or three times now. It's such a quick and easy, so very easy. It's classified as, and I would definitely agree. Uh, this is a pattern that you could easily do in an afternoon. But again, with the nice flow that it has, I think it would be really nice in this visit goes shally another simplicity jumpsuit is this one uh, 9125 has a really nice v cinched at the waist with a little tie different versions that you can do again with the neckline um, it doesn't tell me the classification it does have 14 pieces i haven't made this one yet but again as you can tell i do love a particular type of jumpsuit <laughs> if i wanted to do something a little more um, put together, there is the Simplicity 8907. I think this one is really cute, whether you do the jumpsuit, the little romper, or the dress. Um, I love the deep pockets, buttons in the front, love the, the belt detail. So if I wanted something a little more involved than, say, this one or this one, I can do Simplicity 8907 as well. Um, it doesn't tell me the classification, but I would say it would probably be like an average class of, uh, average level. Another jumpsuit, two jumpsuits from McCall's. We have this one, McCall's 8288. Again, we could do romper or jumpsuit. This one is classified as average as well. I love the wide leg. Again, with this fabric and a wide leg, you are going to get so much flow, so much movement. It'll be so much fun to wear this jumpsuit with this fabric. And we have something similar but very different um, in McCall's. Oh my gosh, it has the this weird number at the top. <laughs> So I don't exactly know the pattern number. Um, classified as easy, though. Different variations. Again, this is just another um, another jumpsuit that I was thinking about making. I love view C because I love like the cinched elastic bottoms. But I think because of this fabric, I would definitely do view D. And I love a deep... Y'all know I love to show skin and love a deep V. So that's really opinion to me <laughs> moving on to a cohort set that i'm considering uh mimi g so this is a top and then you can either make a it looks like a skirt or shorts um, and it comes with a belt as well so quite a few different options so these are actually shorts i believe like a cute little crop top but i think again because i love a coordinating set i just think this would be so cute together in this fabric and then two dresses that i'm considering this know me one from the stitch fix i've been wanting to make this one for a while i love this like front ruching detail um, all the different layers this is drama and i just know in this fabric as you walk and the wind hits it it would just be a moment it's actually classified as easy which i think is a little surprising but um yeah i'm excited to do this one eventually if not with this fabric i'm still excited to do this one eventually and then we have last but not least this vogue pattern if I don't do a cohort matching set, I think this is the pattern that I'm going to use with this fabric, just because I think it is so stunning. It's a very easy Vogue, kind of like this halter top um, dress. I don't know, there's just something about this pattern that like really draws me in. 
And I know with the skirt and the top and this fabric, again, it's just gonna have so much flow, so much body, so much movement. So I'm definitely heavily leaning towards this one. But I think, again, there are so many great options so many great possibilities with all these fabrics uh it's gonna be hard to choose but i'll bring you all along on the process with me of deciding which uh when i choose which pattern i'm going to, to make this fabric in i'm going to bring you all along on the process with me so those are the fabrics that Minerva was kind enough to send to me. I'm very excited to start planning, very excited to start documenting the process of making the jumpsuits or the tops or the cohort sets or whatever I decide to work with. With that uh, viscose chalet, let me know in the comments what pattern you think I should make with the second fabric, whether it be a top, whether it be that coordinating set, whether it be the Vogue dress. Let me know in the comments and that will help me decide. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Terrence Williams. I run my small business, Terrence Williams Designs, where I create ethically sourced and sustainably produced clothing and accessories. This YouTube channel is focused on my sewing journey. It's focused on uh, skincare and makeup. I am a self-taught sewist. I've been sewing since 2009, 2010. So not everything on this channel is going to be polished. Not everything on this channel is going to be perfect, but I think that is the beauty in being a self-taught sewist. Uh, and I could just get to bring you along on the journey with me and we all get to learn and experience things together. So I hope you enjoy this video. Again, please let me know what pattern I should use. And also don't forget to check out my website. I will link it below and all the links for all the Minerva fabrics and some of the patterns. I'll also have them linked below too. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and I'll see y'all in the next one when we start sewing and cutting up the patterns. <laughs>